So it seems like 2024 is the year of exposing people for their shady past because we have yet another big beloved content creator being exposed for some not so good past actions. The creator I am referring to is Cody Michael Kolajesic, better known online as Cody Ko. Cody Ko is a 33 year old Canadian YouTuber, comedian, podcaster, and many other things with over 6 million subscribers on YouTube, 2 million followers on Instagram, and another million plus following over there on Twitter. Cody Ko is mostly known for his comedic style commentary videos where he talks about a whole host of topics. But over the past several days, Cody Ko has been a very big topic of discussion, but not for his funny commentary videos. Instead, people have been talking about how Cody Ko in the past hooked up with a 17 year old minor while he was a 25 year old man. The minor in question is a girl named Tana Mojo, who is also a pretty big YouTuber herself. Now Tana today is 26 years old, but she has been claiming for several years now that back when she was 17 and Cody was 25, they hooked up and this is something that has apparently been a topic of discussion for many years now but never got the necessary attention and has been pretty much swept under the rug with the only prominent youtubers to really discuss this topic being the h3h3 podcast that was until a few days ago when the youtuber d'angelo wallace would upload the following video an uncomfortable conversation about cody ko where he discusses the things that tana mojo is accusing cody ko of and just the whole situation in general and like i said before this is something that has been discussed for years now but never really got a crazy amount of attention not a whole lot of people were talking about it but what got the whole thing started once again was about a month ago tana mojo hosted a live show for her podcast canceled with tana mojo and brooke schofield and on that live show a person asked her a question about who is the smallest dick that tana has ever had sex with and tana mojo would answer cody ko who's the smallest you've ever had sex with oh my god do no one look at me cody ko i can't say that i was literally and then after this she would upload another podcast to talk about the situation some more and she would then double down on her statement saying this i know people want me to talk about it and i'm gonna do my best right now you know i mean i hooked up with cody cole when i was 17 and he was 25 mm. yeah it happened and that in itself is already bad enough with this whole accusation just being out there and the fact that bro got a small me but we ain't gonna talk about that right now but it gets even worse because tana would say that a person named gabby hannah tried to stop cody from hooking up with tana telling him that tana was 17 but tana says that her and cody still hooked up that night anyway and there was a situation with gabby hannah at a playlist live where she pulled him aside and told him like yo she's 17 and then we still went and hooked up as mentioned in the clip the place where cody and Tana hooked up at was a Playlist Live event. For those of you who may not know, Playlist Live is an annual convention held for YouTubers and TikTokers. And these events are held in Orlando, Florida and Washington, D.C. Now, Tana was at the Playlist Live event in Florida back in 2016, meaning that if she hooked up with Cody Ko at this event in Florida, that means that Cody has committed a felony. Because as we all know, the age of consent in Florida is 18 years old. And regardless of your personal moral feelings about this situation, by law, Cody Ko would have committed a felony crime now i'm not gonna say that definitely i'm not gonna make that definite statement because up to this point these are all just allegations and accusations there is no definitive proof that this ever happened but it's not looking good so far and again this situation is really bad when you consider the fact that this is not the first time that tana has brought it up she again made the same allegations a few years ago back in 2021 where she said this i was 17 at the time 18 i started kind of hooking up with other people shout out jc kaylin shout out cody Cup. and even though she's continued to make these claims over and over again they for some reason just haven't really stuck like that nobody has really cared that much up to this point it hasn't really gotten any traction almost as if it's being covered up but it gets even worse because there is another old clip of someone saying that cody ko hooked up with tana mojo when she was 17. remember that girl from earlier gabby hannah who warned cody ko telling him that tana mojo was 17 right before they hooked up well this is her saying the same thing on a podcast one time i told a guy i saw him making out with a girl at a party yeah. who was underage and i pulled him aside and i was like Hey man, you probably don't know. I know she like looks a little older. She's underage. Watch it. And he's like, oh my God, thank you for telling me. And then he turned that. Now again, I'm not going to make the definitive statement that Cody Ko is a predator or a pet or that he committed statutory rape. Because again, these are all just allegations up to this point and there is no definitive proof 
and there hasn't been any real legal action and honestly looking at this right here there probably really will never be any legal action because this was like eight years ago it's only a few people alleging this and there's no real evidence that can be really provided but again i don't think it looks very good i mean tana has alleged it and you know that's whatever that's one person but the fact that another person a third party has kind of corroborated her story it makes it look a little fishy now at this point right now as i'm making this video i haven't seen a response from cody co in regards to these allegations hopefully there isn't a response like literally right when i post this but i haven't seen anything yet but there has been some fans of his defending him saying that they don't really care because it's tana mojo and they don't like tana mojo tana mojo is a bad person whatever and i'm not gonna lie tana mojo does not have the best reputation when it comes to youtubers a lot of people don't like her she did a lot of shady stuff but i mean regardless if you like her or not it doesn't take away from the fact that she could have been a potential victim in this situation and again everything up to this point is alleged but just because a victim might not be the best person or they might be a bad person and you might hate them it doesn't take away from the fact that they are still a victim at the end of the day now like i said before cody co has yet to respond to any of the things being levied against him but a lot of people have been commenting under his post on his social media accounts <laughs> alexa play not like us by kendrick <laughs> Dear Otis, I'm sorry that man is your father. And if you don't know who Otis is, I'm pretty sure that's the son that Cody Ko just had like last year or something. Your wife and son must be really proud. Say Cody, I hear you like I'm young. <laughs> The audience not dumb. Better get the ukulele soon. You, sir, you are officially invited to the Diddy party. And this is my personal favorite. Trying to strike a chord and it's probably a, a y'all know what comes after. But honestly, the situation is pretty crazy. Like I said before, everything is alleged up to this point. But if it is true, this is horrible. I mean, this one's a little different from the Dr. Disrespect one for me personally, because I actually liked Cody Ko. I wasn't a huge fan of his, but I watched some of his videos and I liked a lot of his content. I think he made some genuinely good videos but if this is the type of time he on or at least the type of time he was on back when he was 25 i can't support that i can't mess with him no more because i mean bro again these are grown men y'all know better like 25 you know not to be with no 17 year old at 25 regardless of this being a genuine felony a 25 year old hooking up with a 17 year old will always be wrong to me regardless if the 17 year old consents or not and i don't care if the age of consent in that state is 16 or 17 or whatever country you're in the age is this or that because to me it's just wrong regardless i mean as a grown adult there are plenty of other grown legal adults out here to get with and plus just because that's the age of consent that don't really make it okay i mean in some places the age of consent is like 13 <laughs> you telling me you, you you'll be with a 13 year old just because it's legal <laughs> like like i really just don't understand why so many of these people choose to be with underage people choose to be with people that aren't legal adults what is it and this makes yet another beloved content creator to have a shady past i mean how many people this year have been exposed already but we only like halfway through 2024 please please do not tell me that it's so many other people that we love that are weirdos i mean cody cole dr disrespect y'all were like beloved by everybody who was hating on y'all man but this is what y'all own what is happening i mean this list is getting kind of big at this point but i will update you guys when cody cole responds to this if he responds to this i don't know if he will i mean this has come up a few other times and he hasn't made a response to it so i don't know if he'll respond this time i feel like this time he kind of does need to respond this isn't just gonna disappear like the last couple times it came up a lot of youtubers have been talking about this already especially a lot of big youtubers have already made videos about this like jamari some ordinary gamers moist critical and Upaville have already made videos on this this is people with millions of subscribers already so it's already getting a lot of attention and ever since this came up he's lost over a hundred thousand subs so yeah you ain't just gonna be able to ignore it this time i mean everybody in your comment section talking about how you you know you not like us so i mean you you gonna have to say something plus at this point i don't think science is the best option this is something he's gonna have to address now again these are allegations but i mean if somebody was saying this about me for years like ain't no way i'm gonna just let him keep doing that but when he does i'll be here to cover it for you guys and any other beloved content creators who turn out to be weirdos like i just don't get it bro like y'all can't 
can't just get y'all money and fame and just be normal adults and just you know get with other legal adults it, i mean is it really this hard to get with a woman that's your age or at least in your same age bracket like 25 and 17 not nah, you know what i'm saying like why are y'all looking for girls at the local high school it's plenty of women out here man plenty of legal ones like bro when these people get big on youtube or twitch or whatever like we need like instead of like a manager they need a predator manager because these dudes i mean i don't get it bro like y'all are famous millions of fans millions of dollars y'all can get any woman y'all want and y'all choose to get somebody that's still in high school why this shit is just crazy man but if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit a like comment subscribe hit the bell turn on post notifications share this video on our road to 2,000 subscribers like and sub so we can get there thank you all for your support thank you for watching this video thanks to everybody's been subscribing come on hey i promise you ain't no high schoolers over here <laughs> and i'm out though catch you guys next time